moon. This familiar object in the night sky has inspired the imagination of astronomers and ordinary people alike. From time immemorial, humans have marveled at the beauty of the moon, used it to count time and navigate the high seas. In modern times, moon, the only natural satellite of the Earth, has acquired added importance due to the belief that moon is the key to our understanding of the evolution of the solar system in general and Earth in particular. Besides, moon's precious resources and low gravity have further endeared it to humans. India, a major spacefaring nation, has conducted a detailed exploration of the moon through its Chandrayaan program. The country has sent two robotic spacecraft to orbit the moon and to take a repeated look at its surface. Chandrayaan-1 demonstrated India's ability to reach the surface of the moon at a place and time of its choice. And with it, India became the fourth country to reach the surface of the moon in November 2008. Besides, Chandrayaan-1's conclusive discovery of water on the moon in 2009 was praised as a path-breaking discovery. The follow-on mission Chandrayaan-2 had an orbiter, a lander called Vikram and a rover named Pragyan. In the past four years, the orbiter has repeatedly observed the lunar surface and even today is working satisfactorily. Now, 3,900 kilograms Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is being sent to the moon with the objective of making yet another focused attempt to slowly land on the lunar surface and to explore it with the help of a rover. Following the spacecraft launched by India's most capable rocket LVM-3, the Chandrayaan-3 lander carrying a rover within it will be carried into an orbit around the moon by the propulsion module. A little later, the lander will separate from that module and will attempt to make a soft landing in the south polar region of the moon. This region is of intense interest as it has many permanently shadowed craters which could contain water ice and precious minerals. Chandrayaan-3 lander has four scientific instruments or payloads of which one will study the moon quakes while the other one studies as to how the surface of the moon allows heat to flow through it. The third one will study the plasma environment near the moon's surface. And the fourth instrument will enable scientists to measure the distance between the Earth and moon very accurately. The two instruments on the rover help us study the composition of the moon's surface using X-rays and laser, respectively. While the lander and rover will be in direct contact with each other, the propulsion module circling the moon will observe the light coming from Earth, the only planet which we know which is definitely teeming with life. This observation will help in understanding the nature of distant planets circling stars other than the Sun. As Chandrayaan-3 undergoes important tests and gears up for launch, thousands of ISRO scientists, including those who will launch it, control it and receive the precious scientific information from it using giant dish antennas, are readying themselves for the challenging tasks ahead. In the past, their dedication and skill have enabled India to earn praise from across the world and made it proud. Let us wish them well in this great endeavour called Chandrayaan-3. The ability to handle parameter variation or dispersion was very limited. So what we did this time is simply expand that further. Look at what are things that can go wrong. So we, instead of success-based design in Chandrayaan-2, we are doing a failure-based design in Chandrayaan-3. What all can fail and how to protect it. 
So this is the approach that we have taken. So for that we did many things. One, we expanded the area of landing half a kilometer by half a kilometer to four kilometer by two point five kilometer. Four kilometer along the track and two point five kilometer by anywhere you can land. So it doesn't limit you to target a specific point. It will target a specific point only in nominal conditions. Four by two point five. Four kilometer by two point five kilometer. And there is one benefit from Chandrayaan two that Chandrayaan two had a very high resolution camera on board. It's called. Orbital high resolution camera. This camera gave very good pictures, almost 28 centimeter high resolution image of the entire moon. With that, we were able to find out the landing site much better way than last time. 